Hey, honey? Yeah, what's up? Hey everybody, I'm Fen. I'm Laura. And this is Ghosty. And he's super cute and super bitey. I call him Bitey McSquirmy, so I'm letting him go. But he is our new kitten. Alright, and tonight... Oh yeah, and this is a cooking show called Recipe Roulette, where we... Choose a cookbook, open to a page at random, and we make what it says. And tonight we're using... The Betty Crocker Cookbook. And we're going to make a deluxe brownie. Alright, so let's look at the ingredients. So for your brownies, you got a cup of all-purpose flour, a cup of sugar, five ounces of, of baking chocolate, Three eggs, um, two thirds cup of butter, which I figured out was approximately one stick and two tablespoons. A cup of nuts, I'm using walnuts, just what I had on hand and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So let's put this together. All right, got a medium saucepan here on the stove on a high heat so I can get my butter melted. Drop this down in. Get this butter stick in there along with our chocolate and we're going to grab a silicone spatula so we don't want this to burn or stick onto our spatula we're going to just keep it moving so it stays nice and hot and it doesn't stay in contact too long anyways I also want to set the oven to 350 to start preheating so once we're all ready to put the stuff in the oven It'll actually cook. But, right, so I'm gonna get this melted and I'll be right back. Alright, once butterfly get starts to get melted down here, definitely gonna want to turn your heat off and just use the residual heat to keep things going. I definitely even recommend taking this off the burner. That way you don't have any extra heat build up. Grab your tea kettle, put that over your top of your hot burner so you don't burn yourself. And clean up your little chocolate that might have splattered. <clears throat> that way, wife isn't mad at you. You left a chocolate mess all over the ki kitchen stove. All right, grab yourself a mixing bowl, crack your eggs. I like to do it on a flat, hard surface. I don't get any shells in there. I did get a little shell on that because I had double crack. I want to give. It's just like six inches high off the table, down, and crack. These eggs, these chickens did not get enough calcium. They're just flaking right apart. Alright. Double check, make sure you got no shells. Got no shells. Grab in your vanilla and your sugar. And I'm gonna mix this up for five minutes with my electric mixer. I'm not gonna show you that part because I do not think that is good ASMR for anybody out there with headphones. Do not need to hear for five minutes. So let's get this mixed. All right, we got our 
eggs, sugar, and vanilla all blended together for five minutes. Just giving this chocolate and butter a quick little stir. Just want to make sure I scrape down the bottom. So get all that chocolatey, buttery goodness out of here. Don't want to leave any of that behind. Alright. And we're just going to give this a quick little zzz to get that all incorporated. Alright, now that I've got all of my chocolate, butter, egg, sugar, vanilla all incorporated together, it's time to add in our flour. I'll give this another good little mix for how long, honey? Uh, for the flour, if you're just looking to incorporate it. All right, just looking to incorporate it. All right, so once it's all incorporated, you know, the uh, your brownie batter has started to offer you stock options, and they have really snazzy business cards. It is time to grab your nuts and dump them in the bowl. Grab your spatula, and you're just going to fold these in so you got a nice, good amount of nuts spread throughout the batter. So, normally you're going to cook this in a 9x9 nine nine baking pan. We don't have one of those. We do have a cheesecake pan. So, I'm just going to add a little oil into the bottom of this, and I'm going to grab my basting brush, which I remembered to put back in the right spot this week. Grab my basin brush, give that whole glob of oil all the way around my pan. Cool thing is, if you're making brownies in a cheesecake pan, you can make a cheesecake brownie very easily by just uh, topping this batter with some cheesecake. You can do that anyways, like that's how you make cheesecake brownies. I think that's why we don't have a brownie pan though. No, there's no way. Okay. I actually added one to the shopping list. Because this is the second time we've needed one, like in the last six months. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're getting new supplies next week. Maybe. Maybe. Soon. Soon. Cat's fingers. Okay. got this all into my pan. And I pop this into the oven. How long is it going to cook for? Uh, I think it said 45 minutes. Alright, pop it in the oven for 45. 40 to 45 minutes. Let's do 40. Alright, we're going to pop this in for 40 minutes. Okay, time for us to have some brownie. That really is a brownie cake. That's okay. Your brownies can be any shape you want. Mm. That is so like moist. I'm just like smooth. Okay, let's look at next week before, because I don't really want to just watch us devour this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're going to be using a found cookbook put together by some unknown person. <laughs> Bless you. <sighs> Anyways, this is from a free little library we picked up a while ago now. Yeah, got it over at the free little library by the... New Orleans Food Co-op. Yeah. Okay, so we could do one, two, or three. Two. Marinated lentils du poi. Something like that. It has lentils. Yeah. 
and it's got beets and it's marinated. I guess we'll find out more and bring it to you next week. Yeah, alright. Sounds good with lentils. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah, it really means a lot. Everybody tune in each week to watch what we're cooking and see our cooking adventures. And, and see Ghosty. See Ghosty. And out. Cats me and Victoria. So, that's all we got. So, peace. Bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks for staying till the end of the episode. Uh, remember to like, share, subscribe. Follow us on Facebook at Board Barista Productions. And if you want to support us, Patreon link at the bottom.